Let's lock in the moisture and get our glow on for the winter. In this segment, I want to tackle hydrating moisturizers that help us prevent that dry skin in the winter. Hello lovelies, welcome back to On The Glow. I'm Muna, thank you guys so much for tuning in. You're here to discover your glow through skincare, beauty, and wellness, and I've got you covered. Everything I share with you is with conscious beauty in mind, and what that entails is that I look for products that are clean formulated, environmentally and sustainably safe, also cruelty free. Those to me are important factors whenever I invest in any products. I'd love for you guys to hit that subscribe button down below because I put in a lot of love, research, and energy in this video and your support means so much to me to help the channel grow and reach more people. Here are my go-to clean beauty products that I love for face, eyes, and body. These creams keep me ultra hydrated and nourished all throughout the season. Let's start with the eyes. You know, they say that the eyes are the window to your soul. And this area here is very fragile and it is, you know, the first signs of where we see aging. Um, for me, I laugh a lot, so I can definitely see laughing wrinkles and I am getting older and not younger, although I'm young at heart. Um, so I definitely see those signs for me. I really genuinely thought that face cream can really manage and tackle everything, including around the eyes. But when I started to do more research, I realized that there are specific formulations and probably textures, like thicker textures that really can help keep this area supple, hydrated, and nourished um, around the eyes. Um, and because it's so delicate, it's even how we handle with care and how we apply our eye cream. For me, it has been a really a learning curve. And as I get older, I know it's important for me to incorporate eye cream within my routine. So this is one of my favorite eye creams. I love this and I mainly use this at night because of its thicker texture. This is Osea's Firming Eye Cream, which you can use around your eyes as well as your lips. Um, this is really beneficial for those who see the first signs of aging that feel like they're around the eye area is very sensitive and dry. So this offers ample hydration around the eyes. This product retails at around $60, so I would say it's quite expensive, but when you read their ingredient list, you can fully understand where and what they invest in to really create clean formulation. This is a high performance eye cream, which has squalane, which is derived from olives. And squalane is really good because it really helps plump, contour, and firm the eye area, as well as the contours of our lips. So another potent ingredient is the Gartina algae. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, and the algae, which I've noticed that Osea tends to use different types of algae within their skincare formulations. If you don't know, Osea stands for Ocean, Sea, Earth, and Atmosphere. And this type of red algae helps deeply penetrate the skin and promotes the appearance of youthful volume and firmness. Um, it also helps with environmental factors like pollution, dry air, and you know, the climate that we you know, deal with on the day to day. If you're looking for something a little bit more lightweight, I have been using this for a while now. This is by Fresh, and it's called the Lotus Youth Preserve Eye Cream. Um, this has Super Lotus, and Super Lotus is really good at like depuffing and smoothing out the delicate eye area. Um, what I've noticed is that it gives me that really lightweight coverage around the eyes, um, keeping it nourished, keeping it hydrated. So if I want to kick on some makeup or just leave my skin fresh and glowy with all my skincare products, it just feels really lovely and hydrating on the eyes. So this eye cream retails at $45. Um, I would say it's a bit on the mid to high price point, but what I have noticed for like really good, clean, formulated eye creams, this tends to be sort of the average price range. So last summer, I discovered this um, really affordable clean beauty brand called Good Molecules, but this one is called the Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. Um, what I love about this uh, is mainly for its hydration and refreshing, refreshing sort of feel on the eyes. It is a gel-like consistency um, and it comes out like really clear. It smells really nice and refreshing and it also has hyaluronic acid in there so it really is good at like maintaining and locking in that moisture and it just feels really refreshing on the skin. 
Have I noticed anything dramatic around my eyes by using this? And I have been using this for a while. Uh, no, not really. My eyes seem to be the same. I still see my wrinkles. I still see my laughing wrinkles. Um, but what I do love about it is that sometimes I just kind of like in the morning when I'm working in front of the computer, I tend to just like dab, a, you know, a little bit of this around my eyes and I just feel like it like wakes me up <laughs> uh, besides the coffee. And it just makes me feel fresher and happier throughout the day. I have a tip for you guys. If you haven't seen my 10 skincare winter tips, I'll leave that link down below. But one of the tips that I'd like to highlight today is using a humidifier. Now I let that run throughout the night and what that does is really help lock in the moisture in my skin because what happens is the dry air, the heat as well can really zap that moisture from the skin. So that's one tip I really would love for you guys to follow. If you like that, please give this video a like. Now let's dive into face and body creams. I tend to really invest in more of those rich moisturizers that have anti-aging benefits and other protective properties. For me, it was really hard to narrow down some of my choices, but I really wanted to pick a nice selection that um, really helps tackle the lack of hydration in the skin and also kind of gives that dewy, glowy effect that I always aim for. So first off, I have the True Cream Moisturizing Balm by Belief. I've also tried their Aqua Balm. I have been using this product on and off for about five years now. Um, and I believe that their formulations have transformed throughout the half a decade that I've been using this. Um, what I do know and I recently discovered is that the products are free of parabens, sulfates, phthalates, synthetic preservatives, synthetic dyes, synthetic fragrances, mineral oils. So that to me was a huge appeal. I love that this gives my skin ample hydration. This is a creamy gel texture that goes on really smooth instantly. It like locks in that moisture. It just feels really refreshing and beautiful on the skin. So this is Embryolisse and it is a cult fave among dermatologists, celebrities, makeup artists, estheticians. They recently came out with this product called Le Creme Sensitif. Uh, and this, I hope I pronounced that very nice because I do love to uh, play with that French accent. This has the very same properties as the very famous Le Creme Concentré. Um, so this product is ideal for sensitive, reactive skin, um, and it's meant for everyone, meant for babies, children, adults, um, and this is why I really gravitated towards this product. I have been using this day and night. It has, uh, it's like very light, milky texture. I love it. And it's a very rich, hydrating cream. One of the things that I love about this is that it also feels like it's a great base to put on makeup because your skin just feels like ultra hydrated, ultra glowy. I cannot like get enough of this and I'm so happy I invested in this. Um, this product I think is around $30. Um, so it's not so crazy expensive. Um, and as this I think has been about a month and a half. So you can see I'm like, Pretty much halfway through just the application be really careful because like when you open it up and you pour it in your hands like a lot of it can come out so just be very slow at it don't like just squeeze because everything will come out and then you waste really good product um i love the feeling of it it just goes on glides so soft on the skin so it contains 98% natural ingredients. It has ingredients like aloe vera and shea butter. Um, it also has a wide array of essential vitamins, amino acids, essential fatty acids to really help maintain dehydration and improve overall skin's elasticity. If you're looking for a night cream, I have been using Chorus's Night Brightening Sleeping Facial. This has vitamin C, and vitamin C is really essential for our skin to help brighten and even out our skin tone. I love this. They call it the beauty sleep because quite literally, you wake up in the morning um, with you know beautiful looking results. 
Body creams I keep really simple. I tend to rotate a lot of those really well-known established brands like CeraVe, Bioderma. I'm also a sucker for baby products um, for years, like even pre-baby. I have been using Mustela's um, Hydra Baby Lotion. I love that. I'll put a picture up here for you guys to see. Um, one of my favorites, the body wash and um, their, their, their lotion as well, I love. Recently, I would say since having my son, Zane, I discovered Pipette. Pipette is an American brand. Um, they're a clean beauty brand or clean skincare brand um, that I think predominantly focuses on baby products, but they also have like a whole adult range. Um, they have everything from like diaper cream to body wash to lotion to SP. Yes. Um, and I have been kind of rotating on this. I've been using the baby lotion, which is fragrance free. This is also used, uh, I use for Zane. And then I also have this one, which is the relaxing body lotion. Um, this one smells amazing. When, when I had Zane, um, I bought this like, like self care kit and I had this like belly butter that I used on my belly post birth. Um, and then I also used um, this cream and I just, I love the scent. I feel like it's like spa, um, inspo like. Um, so these creams have been just like working wonders for me. They're, they're great, they're very simple. And if I'm really looking for that like deep, deep moisturizing um, element, especially on my legs, I love using Vaseline. Vaseline, where's Tyra? Where's Tyra Banks? Tyra definitely um, loves her Vaseline. But yeah, I keep it really simple with body creams. I wanna share a very simple breakdown for my morning and nighttime skincare routines. You guys can take a screen grab for your personal use. So before I love you and leave you, I wanna say that this is a skin vestment. It's all about self-love and self-care. Everything that I've shared with you today is really my personal opinion. Um, things that have really worked for my skin type, for my time of the year, the environment, where I'm at. I hope you guys love what I shared with you guys. If you do, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'd love to hear from you guys. What has been working for you guys? What are some of your favorite go-to winter care essentials? Thank you guys for watching On The Glow right here on my channel. Stay warm and stay blessed. And remember, keep glowing.